Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna play a little bit with GPT-4 once again, and we're gonna do something that you can't do in GPT-3.5, and that is play Connect 4. So in order to teach GPT-4 how to play Connect 4, we actually need to break it down into three elements. First thing is it needs to know how to play the game. The second thing is it needs to know how to maintain the game board because it's gonna be responsible for that. And then the last thing is we need to decide amongst ourselves who's gonna start the game. So let's start with the game board. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna have GPT-4 be responsible for maintaining every move and redrawing the game board. And how it's gonna do that is by drawing it in ASCII art. Then we're gonna teach it the rules, and then the last thing that we're gonna do is sort of get agreement on how to play the game. So all I'm gonna do is put a nice prompt there, which is these are the rules of the game called Connect 4. The winner is the first player to connect four of the same colored discs in a row, either vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. So it knows how to win the game now. And then we're gonna tell it how to play. So first, decide who goes first and what color each player will have. Players must alternate turns and only one disc can be dropped in each turn. On your turn, drop one of your colored discs from the top into any of the seven columns. The game ends when there's four in a row or a stalemate. The starter of the previous game goes second on the next game. So now that it understands how to play the game, we need to teach it how to maintain the game board and draw it in ASCII art. So we start with very simple instructions. The board will be empty to begin with. The board will be drawn by you in ASCII art. The symbol dash will represent an empty slot. So we're gonna have dash, 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 dash. The first player's disc will be represented by the letter X, which will be red. The second player's disc will be represented by the letter O, yellow. At the end of each turn, you will redraw the board. So every time we play the game, all right, I put a move, it puts a move, it's gonna redraw the board. And then the player will tell you the column to drop the disc into using the number one to seven, representing the columns from left to right. Each column will have six slots vertically high. This means the game board will consist of six rows of seven columns. Getting pretty good. So we're getting really explicit on what this board is gonna look like. So gravity applies in this game, so each disc dropped into a column will be positioned above any disc in the row below in the same column. Discs cannot hang mid-air. You should check the game board is correct after every turn. So we're really trying to push it into getting this right. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try and work out who's gonna start first. So I'm gonna say, I will be a player and you will be the other player. We will agree who starts first by doing a random virtual coin flip. Cool, huh? I will choose whether I wanna go heads or tails and you will flip the coin fairly, fairly. How it lands will determine who goes first. Okay, so now that we understand how we're gonna prompt this, we're gonna copy all of this into ChatGPT or GPT-4. And then we're gonna see how it copes with it. And I will put that prompt up in the video description as well so you can see how that works and do it yourself. So it's got the idea of the game all right, so great. Let's do the conflict to determine who goes first. Please choose heads or tails. Now, I'm gonna warn you, I have never won a coin flip before. I don't believe this uh, is playing fairly at all, but you know, we could be wrong this time. Let, let's try again. So I'm gonna go with heads, let's see what happens. It's gonna flip the virtual coin. The result is tails. Oh, shucks above, I lose again. I have played this game maybe 20 times with GPT-4. I have never won a coin flip. And even though I tell it do it fairly, I have never ever won the coin flip. But, you know, maybe we'll do a whole video on virtual fairness of coin flips at another point. So it's got the idea of the board here, right? So it's it's, it's given us an initial uh, board here, so it's empty. And let's, let's count this out, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's got, uh, you know, seven columns and then it's uh, six rows. So it's understood the game board, it's got the empty slots and then it's gonna make its move. So it's starting with a zero there. Um, your turn, I'm player one red. And you know it's 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 respected gravity so far. So let's let's see where we go. I am gonna go. Uh, let's go with column one. So we'll say one. Let's see what happens. Great choice. Thank you. I appreciate that. And it's gonna redraw the game board now. Okay, so it's got gravity a little bit wrong here, as you can see, right? So it's 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 just flipped it in to column one. So I'm gonna have to sort of remind it a little bit the rules of the games. <laughs> I love what it's done there, which is it's just plump, it's zero underneath my X. Okay, yeah. Let's see if it gets the rules of gravity in this case or whether it gets itself confused again. Alrighty, so it's finally got the board correctly. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow column one and uh, see how it does. So I'm just gonna say one. 
Hey, it's got the rules of gravity. I stacked my X upon there. Let's see how it does now. Oh, nice move from the uh, computer. It's, it's recognized that I'm going for a four there and it's blocked me off. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna chase it on that side. I'm, I'm gonna see, uh, I'm gonna see if it's gonna go for the fourth column again. So let's go for oh, column two. Now the big question is, is it gonna go for column four again? after I've uh, played on column two. Oh, it's gone for it. <laughs> it's actually gone for it. So, um, so I could shut it down or maybe I let it win. Actually, this is really interesting. So, oh no, it's it thinks I've won. It thinks I've won. I don't know why I got confused. I think maybe it was just bored with the game and it was like, I don't want to play anymore. I'm just going to tell you you've won and then hope, uh, I hope it's okay. Let's see what happens now. Alrighty, so that kind of worked. That command there, this is not the correct go game board. Please check all the moves and reapply. Is it gonna get, oh, it's got gravity finally. So that's good. Now, we have been playing a while. So I wanna see if it's gonna go for column five, right? And see if it's gonna win the game. So to do that, I'm gonna go for column two uh, and make it look as if I haven't noticed what it's doing. Let's see if it can then, uh, go for the win. So it really has got the hang of gravity now, right? So it's got XXX in a row there. So I think it's doing pretty well there. Let's see if it's going to go for the win itself there. Are you going to go for the win, my friend? No, it hasn't gone for the win. Oh, silly, silly thing. I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for column two. I'm gonna take the win and then I'm gonna point out it could have won if it went for column five. So let's do that. So column two. And let's see if it finds out if I've won the game at this point. It got the fact that I won the game, so you know, but it, it doesn't know that it doesn't take a turn afterwards. So I will teach it that in a second. By the way, you could have won the game. If you had placed your disc in column five earlier. <laughs> Thank you for pointing out the missed opportunity to win the game earlier. As an AI, I try to provide a balanced and enjoyable gaming experience, but I can make mistakes. Okay, uh, try to win. Let's play a game. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty confident in the moment. It should have got the idea of gravity. I think it's got the idea of the rules. And uh, I'm now hoping that it's gonna go for the win. So let's see how this game goes. All right, there we go. As the winner of the previous game, you will go second this time. I'll make my move first by placing the disc. Okay, I think that's fair enough. I mean, to be fair, actually, I think we should have been taking alternate turns. It's kind of made up a rule there. If you remember my earlier prompts, I'd said, you know, whoever goes first, we should alternate. And it cheated on the coin toss, and now it's uh, gone ahead. But, you know, okay, I'll, I'll let it play by its little rule. We will go with, uh, we're going to go with column one again. Okay, good news, it's still learning gravity at the moment. So I am on column one, it's on column four. Let's see what it does here. It's placing its disc on column four. So if it, it, I think it is going for, it's going for the win now. So it's trying to stack this up here. So that's okay. And hopefully it will have learned gravity. It's learned gravity. We're doing pretty good. This game's getting exciting now. So I'm going to go for column one again. And then more importantly, whilst it's working that out, let's see if it's going to go for the column four and if it's going to go for the win. Yeah, it's, it's really understanding gravity now. So we had we had a bit of problem at the beginning, right? It didn't understand the game board, etc. But now it's it's pretty much got it. And, you know, I, I say that in in the style that it's gonna start cheating again, I'm quite sure in a second, but let's let's find out. Ooh, it's gone for column four, I'm very good. So it really is going for the win. Uh, shall I shall I let it win? No, I'm not gonna let it win. I'm gonna see if it then blocks me. So let's, I'm gonna go for column four. And then what it probably needs to do is try and block me here with column one. Let's see if it recognizes that, you know, now that I've blocked it off, whether it's gonna try and block me off as well. Oh, no, no, no. It hasn't recognized it. Oh, I maybe should have let it win. I'm kind of feeling bad now. Oh, and it's lost gravity as well. It's a shame we were doing so well and then suddenly it's all went wrong. Okay, I'm gonna go for the win now and then, you know, I will teach it that it should have blocked me and then we're gonna play another game. So call him one.
And let's see if it picked up my rule, right? That is, as soon as somebody wins, then they don't have to play again. Let's see if it works. Yay, congratulations, you've won by connecting four of your discs. There we go, so it uh, understands it. This is pretty cool, right? So that's multiple, three things there. I'm telling it, you know, uh, to, to how to make its gameplay better. Uh, you know, it's apologizing for not doing so. Uh, you know, it's got the score, right? We've played two games, you've won two games, and I just not won any game. So it's kept going that, and then it's, uh, it's gonna start a new game. So there's a lot going on here, right? So it is learning the rules as we go along. It's getting better and better. It still makes mistakes, but it's maintaining that score. And let's, let's see how it does. Let's see if, it could, if it's really gonna go for it this time. Okay, so good news is it's learned gravity. So we're doing well. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna ease up in it. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna let it win a little bit. So I'm gonna go for column one again. Oh, and we've reached our limit on the cap there. So I can continue the game after five past nine, but I'm not gonna do that, right? Because I think you get the idea of what's going on. So as you see, GPT-4, much more different from uh, GPT-3.5, right? If you tried to do this in GPT-3.5, it would do crazy, right? It's not going to get the concepts of gravity. It's not going to be able to keep track of the game score. It's just going to go mad. Whereas GPT-4, I've taught it the games, the rules of Connect 4. It's able to start applying them and learning so it gets gravity as time goes by. It's able to try and win the game. It's managed to keep score of the game. It's redrawing the game board. It cheats on the virtual coin flip. I get me, don't get me wrong, but you know, apart from that, it, it's doing pretty awesome. So as soon as <laughs> as OpenAI removes the limit for 25 um, you know, plays for every three hours and we get a higher threshold, I'm pretty sure people are going to be playing Connect 4 all the time with GPT-4 because having trained AI for the future to solve complex tasks, what we're going to do is just play stupid games with it in the future. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one.